Hello. Hmm. Nah, I'm sorry. I really haven't got time now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm Professor Mysterio. I'd like to ask you some questions. Have you found any evidence that points to someone trying to break into the estate? I don't know, and I can't say anything now. I haven't got time. And I've got to examine some marks found on the floor. Were there any traces in the room where the professor was killed? I don't know, and I can't say anything now. I haven't got time. And I've got to examine some marks found on the floor. Perhaps later. Thanks anyway. Hello. How's it going? Oh, uh, yes. Let's say that we're proceeding. Ah, are you Professor Mystere? Oh, what an honor. It's my first time on a homicide. And on the scene of a crime. Mmm, what a mess. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, no. Nothing important. Oh, right, okay. Have you been working in forensics long? Hmm, let's see. Uh, yes... Okay. I think about two months from now. What did you do before you worked for forensics in New York? I worked for a very prestigious toy company, the Play With Toys Corporation. Well, yes. I analyzed the glue that held together the different components. Well, I had to leave. I was allergic to fluff. Just thinking about that place makes me sneeze. Interesting. That experience must have been very amusing. Sometimes quite tragic. One morning, because of some faulty vocal chips, all these talking Muppets all started speaking at the same time. Yeah, try to imagine more than 2,000 talking Muppets. How awful. What did you do to put an end to it all? It was excruciating. We had to remove each and every battery one by one. Sometimes it's very difficult to find traces of evidence, as small as a pinhead. Don't tell me. Sometimes I think I'm in the wrong job. That's true, but I think it's fascinating to see beyond what the normal eye can see. Don't you think? What you say is deeply touching. Do you think Inspector Travis will be busy for long? I honestly have no idea what the Inspector is up to. But it would be fair to let me know. Did you know Professor Uhlenberg, the scientist? I heard about him on the news. He must have been a great scientist. I found his research on the Terracotta Army. In China? Fascinating. Yes, well, you must have heard of the statues. Found in the tomb of the Emperor Shi Huangdi. Found something interesting? Nothing outstanding at the moment. I'm checking for any fingerprints that might be different from the professors and Eleanor's. Eleanor? Yes, the housekeeper's name is Eleanor, and she seems like a nice lady. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Madame Eleanor, but you say there's nothing unusual. No, absolutely not. Eleanor was a very good cleaner. I even analyzed the professor's studio, and there isn't even a crumb. Uh, however, did you see? The professor had wonderful works of art and magnificent paintings in that studio. So you found absolutely nothing, even in his studio? Absolutely. We've even checked his laptop computer. The last open files were of documents containing texts taken from various books on Central American civilizations. Nothing new for Professor Uhlenberg. Great. Thank you. It's a pleasure talking to you. Don't mention it.
Stop. Who's there? No entry. Why? I'm Professor Mystir. I'm working on this case. Ah, hello, Professor. I'm afraid forensics are searching for clues. In the scientist study. So as I can't let you pass. I see. Hmm. Well, I'll come back when they've finished. Housekeeper's room. Looks like it could be the key to some sort of chest. Damn, it's broken. I need something sharp to push the key out and open the chest. What can I use? A very sharp letter opener. It could cut a branch off an oak tree. Paper knife is broken. It really was full of heavy things. It was a job taking them all out. At least I managed to move the chest. Mm -hmm. 